So guys, how I do this is I only run about maybe three feet a liter on my top water. And that's 15 pound. It's a little bit stiffer. So it'll keep that line from getting bunched up in that top water whenever you cast it, it hits the water. It stops it from wrapping around it with it being a stiffer line. So I always run a stiffer line whenever I'm doing top water. And so that just makes it that much less tangle all the time. Anyways, so sexy shad, lipless crankbait, um, lucky craft, <laughs> lucky craft. That's that three quarter ounce, not the half. So it'll sink a little bit faster, so you can work it a little bit slower. It's just a really, really good bait. Anyways, we'll get back to fishing. Hey guys, Jason Riker, Crazy Blessed Fishing. Hey, just want to give you an update to today's video. Um, went out this morning, had a plan of fishing a little bit deeper crankbaits, lipless crankbaits. Wasn't planning on doing any drop shotting, but as you can see, I had to do some drop shotting too. Did some top water. It was a lot of fun. It was a good day. Caught a couple of really nice fish. Um, had somebody message me through YouTube just today while I was in church. And I wanted to give you guys an update and show you exactly how it's catching today. If you guys are going to be fishing this weekend, main lake points, secondary points are where the fish are. 25, eh, you might call it 20 to 30, 35 foot of water is where you're going to catch them. Um, rock or stump, tree, wood, any, any kind of cover seems to be working right now. So on the drop shot stuff, guys, how I drop shot, and I know it's not politically correct but I run a as you can see a little swivel there and what that does is it stops especially if you're fishing like a dream shot a Kevin Van Dam dream shot it stops that thing from spinning as it comes up it gets very very aggravating whenever it spins and keeps spinning and twists your line all up it makes for about half a day fishing for me with drop shot I just absolutely hate it so I add that little swivel there. And if you're fishing with a younger crowd or guys who don't fish very much, this is just a major saving point to save your line and keep them fishing longer. So I do that. Um, what I was catching them on today is you can pretty readily find these. They're the Kevin Van Dam Dream Shot in Morning Dawn. As you can see right there. These things have been working really, really well. The other one is the 3.5 Limit Maker. It's a big bait bite, tilapia. I actually got those over at Extreme Outdoors and I believe they're open today as well. Got those two. Um, also, one that is really good, I didn't use it today, but is the Chompers brown purple lamb these are almost my absolute favorite for table rock these things just work really really well another one that you just can't hardly find anymore is the smally smasher that's a green pumpkin with purple flake i just don't know where you'd actually even find them anymore i bought the last 10 packs i could find on um, tackle warehouse so i don't even know if you can find those anymore but that was the order of the day for drop shot so you guys are going to be drop shotting, like I say, main lake points, secondary points, anything further back, it just doesn't seem to work, and it's main lake, secondary points. The other thing you guys saw me catch, the big ones that I caught today were actually on a lipless crankbait, and um, the Lucky Craft, 
three quarter ounce was really a good one today. As you can hear how loud that thing rattles. That was just the order of the day. Now I lost my one and only that I had of the uh, Sexy Shad, which really disappoints me, but they were also picking up that KVD Strike King in Sexy Shad. It's half ounce, got a little bit different rattle to it as you can hear, but it seems to be doing okay. You can pick these up about anywhere around town, so that's a pretty good bait to be throwing off those points as well. If you're fishing half ounce, recommendation is, is if you don't have forward facing sonar, just let it drop, give it a 15 count, let it drop and just start slow reeling it back and give it pops every once in a while. And that seemed to work really good. If you can find the three quarter ounces in that Lucky Craft, you can hear the rattle difference. If you can find that, that takes a 10 countdown and count down to 10 and that thing was tearing them up. I wish I wouldn't have lost the one that I had in the sexy shed, but it is what it is. I may run out later tonight and try and find one. I think Bass Pros in Springfield probably has them. Also guys, I wanna show you one more thing that I showed you on the video. The top water I was catching them on was that Strike King KVD, Sexy Shad. It's a um, Max Popper or something. I'll link to it in the video. Anyways, that was a really good bait today. I showed you guys in the video how short of fluorocarbon I run 15 pound fluorocarbon that's it from there to there the rest is 30 pound braid the reason I do that is you can see how stiff that stuff is whenever that thing lands it won't hardly get tangled up in your bait I don't know if you can see the line or not but whenever it comes forward it doesn't want to get back around that bait and it makes it your tangles go way way down I fish with a lot of different guys and some of the guys have taken that up the ones that don't that are still fishing late, straight 10 pound fluoro still have a problem with getting tangled up more than not. So it really does work. Try that out, give it a shot. Tomorrow, whenever I go out, I'm gonna try some uh, more deep diving crankbaits and see how these do. So I'll give you an update tomorrow as well. Um, that's the six cents. Wow, those hooks are sharp. That six cents in Sexy Shad as well. Sexy Shad for Table Rock, you just can't go wrong. Um, it's just an all around good bait to have. Anything you can get in Sexy Shad pretty much. All the way down to worms even. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for all the new subscribers this week. I think we had like 44 subscribers this week. Greatly appreciate that. Anyways, guys, we'll see you out on the water. I'm going to be out the next two days as well. Um, probably be going out of Johnny Morris's Long Creek Marina. Is it Long Creek? Yeah, Long Creek. Anyways, that's a pretty good place to launch. I like fishing this lower half of the lake. Anyways, guys, have a blessed day. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.